Hi. Um, I'm going to show you a quick activity that you can do on your board and or you have about 10,000 library newsletters um, that have been printed, but all of the information is outdated because you've been sent into a pandemic-inspired quarantine. So I'm going to make an origami butterfly, and we have several hundred of them on the tree outside, if you've ever seen that. Um, all right, so first of all, you take a newsletter or, you know, a piece of paper. And you have to get the right size for the origami. So I'm going to just tear this in half. Normal size piece of paper. And then I'm going to fold it and get the right size of origami paper. So I'm just folding this normal 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper over from one corner so I can get a square, All right? And then I'm just folding up the, the edge so that I can cut it off nice and square. Scissorless, scissorless. So I'm left with a square. A square of paper from a newsletter that otherwise would not be used. All right, so if you get the butterfly, I had one here. I had one here, I keep on looking somewhere off there. But I had one here. Butterfly. That's what I make. Butterfly. Butterfly. Just like the ones in the lobby. First, I am going to continue what I've already started. You see, this is folded in half, corner to corner. Now I have to fold it in half, corner to corner that way, too. Like so. Crease it, crease it, there we go, nice, They're both going the same way, notice. And that's important because now, after I've opened it back up again, I'm going to flip it over. And now I have to fold it in half this way, both ways, alright, so, you see, fold it in that way, and I'm flipping it around and I'm folding it this way, like so. So, open it up, turn it, fold it in half again. Sure, this kind of fold preparation has a name because it's used in a lot of origami stuff. Prepared this like so. So now I have two folds going that way, and if I flip it over, two folds going like that. You see, but it's open again. Now I am taking this side of this fold and this fold, and I'm bringing them together. This up. See that? See that? I'll do it again. Bring this and this together. Like that. And I'm closing it up. So now I have a triangle. Alright. Now. Now. I'm going to take this point. I'm going to fold it up to that, and I take this point and fold it up to there. Okay? Like so. I've left a 
at this. This is starting to look like a butterfly. Yes, sort of. All right. You'll notice these folds. Yeah. All right. Now, flipping this around, I'm going to take this corner, this corner, and I'm going to fold it up and past the top edge of this. This corner, and fold it up and past the top edge. And I'm not going to crease it completely. Just bringing it up. Like so. So now I have this. It's peeking up over the top, but I haven't completely creased with my nail this fold. That's important. All right. Now I'm going to take that little triangle and I'm going to fold it over. That's the the head of the butterfly. That I do want to crease. And now the last thing to do is just fold the butterfly in half, folding it like this. Like that. Butterfly. Butterfly. I can make the bottom of the wings just curl up a little bit. A little curl to them. I have a butterfly. And now I can do them about 900 more times. No! No, there's two per thing, isn't it? Yes, I can do it about 1,800 more times. Fun, fun.